The overarching goals when training cats for comfort in using the AeroCat chamber are for them to approach the chamber, voluntarily put their nose in and hold it there, and take calm breaths until their treatment is complete. This can take a while to train as there are many steps involved, so breaking it down and keeping it positive is vital. Actively participating in their inhaled therapy reduces anxiety and frustration for cats. This helps not just with medication provision, but stress can make respiratory conditions worse, so calm is key. Positive training gives cats control over their own bodies, allows them to set the training pace, and helps them feel safe. Thus, caregiver and cat are more likely to succeed with inhaled therapy use. Before introducing the AeroCat, first teach your cat to be relaxed with a variety of new things that approximate elements of the chamber. Examples of what you will need include different sized openings to place the nose into, such as large, medium and small plant pots and toilet rolls, different non-offensive scents and sounds so that your cat is primed to cope with both the scent and hiss sound of the medication when dispensed by the inhaler. A mobile phone is useful to time sessions so they don't go on too long. One minute is ample. A phone can also be used to play recorded inhaler sounds later in the training. You also need ways to reward your cat. Whilst you know what the goals of training are, your cat doesn't. Breaking goals down into many smaller sub-goals representing approximations of the finished entire behaviours will lead to successful outcomes. The first goal is for your cat to voluntarily approach and explore the aero cat chamber and equipment whilst remaining relaxed and content. Gradually work towards them putting their nose in the mask, first making it easy for them to build confidence, then working towards harder aspects such as teaching them to hold their nose in the enclosed mask for long periods, each of which are specific skills in themselves. Please see our further videos for stepwise training. Build comfort with a variety of sounds and scents so as to make the error cat no big deal, i.e. by teaching that lots of different and new sights, scents and sounds are no threat and bring good things. This way, when the error cat is introduced, your cat will look forward to interacting with something new without it concerning them. Teach your cat to be comfortable having their face wiped, watching and hearing the manipulation of the chamber, including the hiss noise made by the inhaler, and to take multiple relaxed breaths while holding still in the mask. Each piece is trained separately and then gradually put together and layered to create the whole sequence. Cats are constantly learning and doing what works for them or avoiding what doesn't through making associations. Learning by association happens in two ways. One is a simple process of this predicts that. For example, the positive associations created by the AeroCat predicting rewards, which can be food or treats. The other associative process is based on associations made with the outcome of the cat's own behaviour. Good outcomes mean that behaviour is likely to occur again, and your cat will try it more. Whereas negative outcomes mean the behaviour won't be tried again. For example, if placing their nose in the mask results in valued rewards, your cat will approach the mask more. Whereas if the mask appears threatening or treatment is forced, your cat will become anxious and choose to avoid treatment, meaning they may become ill and potentially the relationship with the caregiver damaged. Shaping is the rewarding of successive approximations of the final goal behaviour. It is used to move from easier towards harder sub-goals to reach the final three goals. Interest in the AeroCat can be kick-started by the use of luring. For example, begin with your cat approaching and sniffing food placed in the mask. Over many repetitions, with time and care taken to shape towards this, your cat learns to rest its nose in the mask and hold it there while taking multiple breaths. Gradually, use of the lure is reduced so that your cat can do this without food in the mask, but instead receiving food after performing the behavior. Once behaviours are well understood, a verbal signal or cue can be added. Mask. See our step three training video. To achieve the training goals, mark the exact moment your cat offers the desired behaviour. The marker is simply a click sound or specific word. Yes. 
Each click lets your cat know that the reward for the specific behaviour just offered will be shortly delivered. Your cat learns that the marker predicts the arrival of food when it does the specific behaviour. A marker is essential as it's not always possible to deliver the food at the exact time the desired behaviour occurs. For example, when the nose is in the mask. Therefore, the marker acts as a bridge. First, develop the predictive relationship between the click and food. Note, this is not yet being used for mark and reward training where a specific desired behaviour would be being taught. Cats are individuals in their likes and dislikes, so you may want to interview them prior to training. Some like to work for food, for example, part of their daily ration. Others will need to be offered tastier treats. Some like calm petting as a reward, and some like variety. Be sure the reward is your cat's choice and that it is welcomed. For food rewards, small amounts frequently delivered will lead to greatest success. Solid food should appear no bigger than about half the size of your smallest fingernail, or for paste, one small lick. An alternative to timing sessions could be to count the number of rewards given per session, with seven to 10 being ideal, then stop. If your cat doesn't seem in the mood, for example, they're disengaged or distracted, is overexcited, for example, grabbing food, or seems worried, for example, quiet, avoidant, or twitching their tail, stop. If in doubt, take a break. It's always better to take a step back than proceed if things aren't working and positive. Go slow to move forward. Be sure your cat is happy, engaged, comfortable, and in control of the pace and interactions during training. Now you're ready to move on to step two. Keep up the great learning together.